what is up cutie friends it's your girl karina and we're gonna be talking about spring trend predictions I feel like to me spring and fall have to be like one of my favorite seasons when it comes to fashion it's because they're like the in-between seasons where i feel like you can layer it's still cold but it's still sunny and it's my birthday season so some of these trends are gonna be predictions some of them you're gonna feel like they're already happening but you know what i'm gonna do whatever i like and i'm gonna talk about what i want trends i feel like is a love and hate thing and i feel like some of you watching would agree first of all i do love watching them and i find so much fun like experimenting when it comes to your style however i also find them overwhelming and at the end of the day where the fuck you want that's all it baby let's just have fun talking about some trends using already what i have in my own wardrobe i've been following my channel for a bit you know that i've been talking about doing the 75 style ch challenge and it's definitely helped me understand my wardrobe more and especially the gaps that i have in my wardrobe i feel like coming into these trends obviously i'm taking them with a grain of salt to see and integrate what you have already in your wardrobe and how you can you know re-look at your items differently of course all these trends are thriftable so yeah let's get into it y'all can you see my dog look what she's doing she's a freaking cat so the first trend that i am particularly interested in it is grommet details i slowly feel like i've been seeing that more often especially in like accessories i really enjoy like grommet belts for sure i feel like if you grew up <laughs> in the 2000s you definitely were wearing grommet belts but i like the shift now that it's going with also bags and even this particular headband that i saw i just really like those little like details and even shoes i feel like obviously we've been seeing a lot of just like ballet flats but i feel like now what they're doing is adding like rhinestones or the mesh or even like grommet details on some of them i just find it fascinating for like a statement and i also feel like this is a very diy thing you can do i think there is a particular like tool you can get like at the craft store where you can punch holes and add grommets that's something that i'm interested in because i do have this bag that i feel like i can definitely diy and do that or really wanted this headband and then i saw how much it cost i was like yeah that was definitely something that i would like to <laughs> make my own we're talking about 2010s fashion coming back especially when it comes to those jeffrey campbell shoes i feel like with the spikes and everything like all of that this is a different way of adding it to spring dresses i feel like especially when you're wearing an all black dress i just feel like grommets is something that i am seeing and i'm definitely very interested in now i'm in the place where i have a very solid base and i just now want to add like little statements whether that's pop of colors whether that's accessories or prints so yeah i i'm excited for the grommets next one again i don't know if it's just the 2010s fashion it could be like meshed with y2k but this style i want to call it like maxi style dresses over pants or what i feel like is kind of closer to like the komodo style the pictures are gonna do more justice but it's like this interesting way of taking your maybe your maxi sheer dresses and just layering them with pants i think when we were talking about the dress over pants i feel like we saw it a lot with just like maybe a mini dress with over pants but this is taking like that long sheer trend that i feel like we were talking about in 2022 and taking those dresses and layering them and then adding a lot of accessories i think it's just a cool way to take a piece that you probably already own and is very versatile and take the dress and wear it in a completely different way this year is the year that i've been really having fun with jewelry i think this is definitely adding into like the the works of what i already like and i think i first saw this being done with one of my friends here on youtube and that is caroline she took like one of her realization par dresses that is like all buttoned down and she basically weared it open kind of like an open like shawl layered in so many be beautiful ways like, obviously she already had this dress she was already wearing it probably as a maxi dress but she's like you know what i'm gonna style it differently wearing like your maxi dresses as like basically open dresses in a way so i am really loving this and i feel like it's a very easy thing you can do probably with something you already have in your closet i don't know if it's a trend but i'm really interested in doing that i've had this dress now in my wardrobe since 2021 like and i've worn this dress in so many different ways it has an open back but i've worn it in the opposite way you know like having that fun with your clothing items i really enjoy and i think if you saw my last video you know that's true i think these are not niche 
but I feel like every spring, like florals, red gingham comes in. Usually like the picnic like basket has like that beautiful, gorgeous like red gingham uh, print inside them. So I just feel like in the spring, heading to the summer, we're seeing a lot of like the red gingham print. And I have been loving gingham print for a while, but particularly trying to find it in red has been one of my like thrift wish lists for the longest. And I finally got two pieces, which I'm so happy about it. And also with like red being so big in the last couple months, I think it will translate to this print as well because people are really enjoying red already. And so the red gingham is just an added like up. I really don't like to put prints as a trend because I feel like if that is a print you already enjoy, that it would be staying in your closet. But I do think we're gonna see like an influx of people interested in it as well. And that's kind of what I mean when it's trendy. It's, I think of it like the color red or the leopard print. It just boomed out of nowhere. <laughs> because if you love the print already, just keep it in your wardrobe, babe. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick because it's another printed style, all right? So don't come at me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is zebra and snake print. This is gonna sound repetitive, but I think because we are seeing people experiment with leopard print, you're going to see people experimenting with other prints as well. I feel like it's literally just finding your inner animal. Which one are you vibing with? You know what I mean? I personally like zebra print already. I thrifted the zebra bag back in like 2018 and I'm just obsessed with it. So I think it's just more of that, that you're slowly gonna see more prints becoming more at the forefront. As of this, we're gonna see a lot of like print and print mixing. Personally, I love adding a print as a statement, whether that's in bags or with a skirt or a top. And I just think it's a cool way to add some dimension to an outfit. So this next one is frosty eyes or what I like to call pop of color in your eyelids. This is something your girl is 100% behind. I think makeup and outfits just go hand in hand. It definitely creates a whole vibe. And I'm a type of person who loves to do a monochromatic lid and also sometimes match it with what they're wearing. I don't know if you can tell today, but I'm a big fan of it. I think we have been seeing people like really hone down on their everyday makeup. Then now like people are having fun and adding a pop of color to their lids. To me, it's just giving like a minimal state Statement. I think it's a cool way to experiment with just like getting dressed whether it's like you want to keep an outfit very casual but do a pop of color on the lid to make like a statement one of my favorite recently has been like this all white like frosty eyeshadow look it pairs so beautifully with all these different outfits but just a little like brightness in the eye I recently went to Ulta with my friend Natalie and she loves adding like colorful eyeshadows she literally bought like a blue a green and I think it was a purple. I do feel like makeup, hair, and outfit just makes a cohesive statement. A little fun, a little sprinkly, even if it's just for everyday wear, which your girl is definitely one of those. That's the whole point, y'all, for the confidence and the boost that it gives, creating the sense of like, wow, I really like how this all creatively came together. To me, I think of it as an art when you're painting, picking different colors, and I'm creating a canvas every day for me and the vibes that I feel, and I love it. This one's not new, and that is Caprice. Y'all, we've been talking about Caprice, I think since like 2022, and I feel like we slowly started seeing them in the last two years, but I think this spring, it's definitely gonna be more apparent. The reason why I think so, it's because it's between a short and a pant. Jorts were so big in the spring and summer. It just kind of makes sense how it would translate into capris as well. Capris can be more comfortable, you know, they're long enough where you don't have to deal with chafing if that's something you deal with like me. They come in so many different styles and colors. There's like cargo, fitted, flared, printed. I was a capri hater until I thrifted a capri pant at the Goodwill bins and I styled them. I was like, okay, Maybe it's not that bad because it was comfortable. Only thing is that when styling capris, I do find it, it can be somewhat difficult. The way I personally styled it is with like an open style shoe, like maybe a kitten heel, somewhere where you can see the toes. I feel like it just elongates it because capris could like obviously cut you shorter. What would you wear with shorts? I feel like you can wear with capris. So my mind was stuck with like these open toe shoes or kitten heels, um, but I also feel like you could style it with loafers or sneakers. All over my Pinterest, y'all, is capris right now. And I am like 
ping, 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 ping. One of my favorite photos of Capri's is this one, like this red gangnam print. It just really ma goes with what I was talking about, red gangnam and Capri's, like both of the trends. And I just love how they look so good together. And I just really enjoy those two combinations. The last one, which is something I already own in my closet and I'm obsessed with and that is dark denim. I've thrifted these dark denim pants and this dark denim top at a different time and I just love pairing those two together even if the dark denims don't really match. Gives like a great transition to me personally because going from winter to spring, I feel like dark denim is a great like color. I do feel like we've been seeing a lot of denim in different ways and especially all the variation of tops that i've been seeing with dark denim like a peplum style top a short sleeve button up one or even like corsets and i just love how dark denim is coming in different styles and silhouettes i am definitely more interested in thrifting more of that like dark denim tops because it just appeals to me more <laughs> i think also because i feel like dark denim pairs even better with like basics, especially when it comes to like black tops. But at the end of the day, y'all, whatever color denim you like, just wear it. So that is all of my spring trend predictions for 2024. All of this with a grain of salt, we're just having fun. And I just also wanted to talk about things that I've been seeing that I'm interested in wearing and I'm gonna incorporate with items that I already have in my closet. Let me know what's trending in your world and what are some items you're excited to wear for the spring because this winter has been long i know y'all this was a quick video so thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and you can also like this video to help me with the youtube algorithm you can catch me on all my socials living as karina on ig tiktok and even my pinterest love you lots and i'll see you soon with a new video bye